What's up guys, JC here with a long awaited video on how to, how to connect the X4 RSB to the Flip32 Omnibus F4 and F4 Pro. I'll be covering both in the same video. If you are here to see how to connect this receiver to a Omnibus F3 or F3 Pro, this video is not for you. You guys actually have it easier. Um, just look in the top right of your screen or description below and I've placed a link to my Omnibus playlist where you will find that video as well as many other videos so let's begin uh, doesn't matter if you have the F4 or F4 Pro uh, these pins are going to be the same for both but if you look at the top left up here this pin you want to connect your signal wire uh, middle is the red power wire and on the edge is the black ground wire you can either solder on a three wire servo cable or if you choose to use pin headers you can use just a normal cable like this and just plug it in. Here is my X4R SB. I have modified it but basically I know this is a D4R2 but let's just pretend for a minute uh, because it's the same dimensions and pin layout and all that uh, except for you will see on the cover of the X4R SB this pin right here is your S bus or signal pin and positive in the middle, ground towards the center. So we will just plug this cable in in the same order. Make sure you have the white signal wire on the outside, ground towards the inside, and also take note that I'm using the uh, back row of pins, not the front row, because the front row is actually channel number one. So that was easy enough. Now for the hard part. How do you get telemetry? With the F4 Omnibus flight controllers, both of them, the F4 and the F4 Pro. It only has one hardware inverter and it is being used on this pin which our SBUS signal wire is going to. If you don't already know, FreeSky receivers have inverted SBUS and telemetry signals. Without these inverters on the two other UART ports, you're kind of screwed, except I do have a fix. If you look on the back of the X4 RSB, you will see this here with two legs on one side, one leg on the other side. Uh, you basically just want to take a piece of wire and solder it onto that one leg on this side. Take your time with it, be very careful. Use a very small, like fine tip soldering iron um, because you don't want to damage it. Now let's talk about where the other end of the wire goes. So for you F4 guys, if we look at the wiring diagram, let me go ahead and say I don't own the F4. I only have the F4 Pro. Uh, but ba basically, this pin right here is where we place the S bus signal wire. And then if we look down here, we have uh, receive for UART number one on this pin. Then we have receive for UART number six on this pin. And receive for UART number three on this pin. The point I'm trying to make is, I know for a fact that on the Pro version, this is UART number one. Meaning that, uh, I'm just assuming this, if because they share the same firmware, and because they share the same firmware, I am going to assume that uh, UART one right here on these two pins are actually tied into this pin. If that is true, then you cannot use the transmit or receive for UART number one because it's already being used. You can only use them UARTs for one thing at a time. Continuing with that assumption, that means that uh, well, your telemetry wire has to go to a transmit pin, which would be either transmit on UART number six right here or transmit on UART number three right here. After watching this video, if someone could just comment in the comment box below to confirm that this, just tell me what UART this is so everybody knows. So if anyone has any questions, uh, just look in the comment box and hopefully someone has an answer because I can't tell you for sure. What I can tell you for sure is the pin layout on the Pro version. Uh, one little tip, if you do go to readytoflyquads.com and try to look at their uh, pin out, uh, this is useless because they accidentally gave us the pinout for the F4, not the F4 Pro. You will see that they are exactly the same. 
but if you did purchase the Pro, you should have received this piece of paper anyway. So like I said, this right here, for a fact, is UART number one. I can confirm that. Which leaves us with this plastic connector right here. So if you hold it with the USB down, it is this plastic connector right here to the right. And we have a transmit for UART number six on the second pin down. And we have transmit for UART number three on the second pin up. So let's just say that I want to use UART number three. Well, first you need to get a, a six pin JST connector like this. If you don't know where to get one, just go to eBay and search for JST SH 1.0 millimeter six pin, and all of these will come up. Uh, just shop around, find the cheapest one. You can get them in packs of five, 10, 20, 25. It's up to you. Uh, not only that, but they also come with the female plastic connector. So if this one ever does break off, God forbid, uh, you have replacements. So back to what I was saying, because I want to use uh, UART number three transmit, which was the second pin up, that means it's going to be my blue wire. So just take this wire and solder the other end of your other wire into that. Now, obviously you do a better job than this and heat shrink it and all that. I'm just doing this very quickly to make this video. So now, whether you have the F4 or F4 Pro, we all have everything wired. I will now take my USB cable and plug it in. This will provide power to the flight controller and receiver both. If you have not yet bound your receiver, you need to go ahead and do that. Just watch my X4R SB or Tyrannus playlist and you will find my video on how to do that. I've already bound mine, so if I turn on my transmitter. Hey JC, welcome back. Cheat mode active. I now get the saw green light, meaning that it has been properly bound and everything is working. Once you get the saw green light, you can continue. So now we just want to go into Betaflight and connect. I'm going to go ahead and say that this is not going to make any sense at all, <laughs> but just you just have to trust me and follow along. Uh, if we go to ports, a lot of guys have had problems with the uh, serial settings or SBUS settings saving. Like it will save on the screen, but it's not actually saving to the flight controller, uh, as well as telemetry. The telemetry hasn't been saving. I've been playing around with this last night and I've found a few different ways of doing this, but the best way is just going to go to the USB VCP and drop the baud rate from 115,200 down to 9600. And then without changing anything else, go ahead and save and reboot right now. Now let's reconnect. Now if we go to ports, you will notice that your one is now missing. And that's fine. This is the fix for that. Uh, just come down here, choose RX serial because we are using SBUS. Then down here, choose what type of serial, which is SBUS. Scroll down, and if you did choose to use telemetry, then turn it on. If you said screw that wiring method, then I understand. Uh, so save and reboot again. Reconnect. Now go back to ports. We now have UART1 back. So because the SBUS wire we placed on UART number one, at least on the Pro version, like I said, I don't own the normal F4 uh, non-Pro, uh, but uh, like I said, they share the same firmware, so it should be the same UART, but I could be wrong. Once again, check the comment box below. Hopefully someone can confirm it. Uh, but either way, I'm going to turn off the data for UART one because UART ports can only do one thing at a time then come over here to RX and turn on Serial RX. Then because I personally chose to use UART number three for my telemetry, I'll come here. And even though this is a free sky receiver, these are different types of telemetry and the X4 RSB uses smart port telemetry. So choose smart port. Uh, just remember if you did place your te telemetry on UART six, then turn it on for UART six. Now we can save and reboot again. reconnect. If we go back to ports, we lost UART1 again, but that's because we need to go back to configuration, and it for some reason switches it back to PPM, 
So turn on ser RX Serial one more time. And this shouldn't have changed, but if it did, set it back. And then save and reboot again. Now reconnect. Go back to ports. And we have UART1 back, and it's still set to Serial RX and Smart Port, which means we didn't lose anything. Now go back to configuration, make sure that it's still set to RX Serial here as well, and SBUS, and you should now be done. To test it, go to receiver, move your joysticks around, roll pitch yaw and throttle should all be moving on your screen. If you have created any switches, you can test those out. Things are about to get real. Hybrid mode. Stunt mode active. Cheat mode active. Okay, everything's working there. Now on the Tyrannus, you want to press the menu button to go to your model, hold the page button down to go backward a page to telemetry, scroll down, and discover new sensors. Once it's found the sensors, press enter again to stop discovery. And you're probably going to notice that voltage and current is not there. So that's because you need to go back to configuration, and with this firmware, normally it's automatically turned on, but with this firmware, it's automatically turned off. So you will just have to turn both these on and then save and reboot. Now if we discover new sensors, we should get three more sensors. And there they are, VFAS, current, and fuel. And that does it. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, check out the links in the description below for my Omnibus playlist as well as the Tyrannus playlist and others. And I will see you there.